simplify and digitalize outdated and time-consuming processes. This general trend is becoming more and more important in the inspection of wind turbines. Katja Weisbach, head of sales at Top7, explains how drones and artificial intelligence can help you gather valuable information about your wind turbine. Katja, what is Top7? Top7 is a high-tech company based in Germany with focus on drone technology, cloud computing and AI. We are developing autonomous uh, navigation solutions and AI-driven analysis, uh, special sensors for special markets. And how is your company devel developing in the moment? Uh, we are developing currently different technologies for asset inspection as onshore wind. The product is already on the market with a special, uh, unique and special LPS me measurement. It's contactless. Um, we are also um, investing a lot in human resources. We have a lot of uh, developers from all over the world working for us in Munich. So we had to move um, from our small office to a bigger office in, in Munich. And uh, we also uh, plan to, to have a, a, like a lab, an open air lab with rotor blades uh, to do some more testing to optimize our LPS solutions and integrate receptor annotation. And what is happening on the technical side? As I said, we are developing a lot regarding the LPS uh, measurement and try to integrate um, receptor um, detection and testing. So we also focus on, on other markets like um, PV park inspections by drone, also autonomous um, thermal and visual inspection. Uh, we are thinking about a solution for offshore wind as well and uh, many, many other uh, markets. There are many requirements uh, regarding the sensors, what data um, the, the different partners want to receive. So when we go back to the basic level, how does the autonomous inspection of wind turbines work with your system? We have pre-calculated flight routes based on uh, georeferencing Web3D software and combined with a with photogrammetry, we have an exact flight route from each turbine, um, so the drone can fly automatically and autonomously. The, the pilot just needs swipe to fly. It's a bit boring for most of the pilots, but uh, it's very, very easy, so um, everybody could do this with a, only a small drone license, flight license. So the drone is doing all four sides of the blade, for example, and um, for the LPS measurement, uh, we induce, or the technician induces uh, a frequency with this signal generator into the rotor blade, um, the LPS cable in the rotor blade route, and this induces a frequency of 13.5 pixels, 6 megahertz, and creates like an antenna out of the rotor blade. And this sensor here, this is an E-field sensor, as a payload, you put, uh, add it to the drone, and this signal generator measures this electric field. And so we can annotate and analyze the, the condition of the LPS, of the lightning protection system. And what results do I get in the end? Um, when it comes to visual inspection, um, we developed a 61 megapixel camera that uh, provides your very high resoluted pictures. We had some requirements from the market regarding quality and speed, so we have now a slider where you can choose between different distances, either to focus on speed a bit more or focus on picture quality. You get high, high resoluted pictures of your rotor blade stitched to a rotor blade model so that you can easily annotate the damages. And the data you get uh, from the LPS measurement is a graph of a curve where you can exact uh, localize the damage uh, or the interruption in this LPS cable. 
AI plays a big role in your system and it's always just a big bullet point. What does it mean exactly here? Uh, you don't, do not have to be afraid of AI. It can support you in so many ways. I think most of the people are a bit afraid that they could um, replace the jobs of human resources, but it cannot. It can make life easier, safer, and more effective uh, work-wise. Um, we use AI for the annotation of the damages and categorization of the damages. Um, it can give you some advice, but still uh, an expert has to check and give the, his signature uh, for the report. Um, AI is also involved when, um, during the visual inspection, uh, auto correction of the camera, auto focus and the lightning and contrast, so a brightness. There are many different technologies where the AI is involved in our case, yes. Um, which challenges do you still face in the recognition of your results? Uh, especially in Germany, there are some guidelines needed um, for most of the clients. Um, the Wind Energy Association, they give you some advice how, how to do drone inspections. As soon as they have um, a common guideline, I think it's, it's better for most of our clients or the clients of our clients that this drone inspection is accepted by authorized bodies. The insurance companies need to, to accept this, and uh, especially when it comes to LPS measurements. The inspection with your system can be a very international topic. And on which markets and how do you face them? <laughs> um, yes, we have been um, on the road a lot this year. We started in Spain uh, with Wind Europe conference and exhibition, and then we headed over to the USA to Clean Power Conference and this is a huge market for us. We are currently um, getting FCC certification for our unique LPS measurement system and as we realize there is a big demand on the market and so I think this is the next step. We go overseas um, to conquer the USA. Thank you very much. Thank you.